Well, first of all, I gotta apologize for the single-line audio on the gameplay, because I don't know what the fuck's going on. I th Maybe one of my audio inputs is going bad or something, because sometimes it seems to be okay, and sometimes it seems to be shitty. Oh, well. That's the disadvantage of being forced to use component to capture. Oh, shit. This is a crapshoot. I mean, a medium UFO, I've only got one plane. Uh, yeah. Wasn't really expecting it to go medium so quickly. Come on. Oh, great start. Eh, sarcasm obvious. Oh, not good. Nah, hit it again. Oh, we gotta pull out. Fuck. Disengaging. Yeah, you gotta hit them things like five, six times, so missing. Yeah, I can't. That's not good. Kinda could have used that UFO too. Ah, oh, well. It's not the end of the world, but I could have used that UFO. Yeah, North American Panic sucks. Yeah. Way to go, dude. Keep getting big UFOs, I might have to order more planes. Yeah, that's repairing. <laughs> only It's only going to take four days to completely rebuild it, but that's okay. Yay! So, Story cuts in. How'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Goody! Sectoid interrogation's done. Yes, yes. To advance the story, we have to catch an outsider or whatever. Beam weapon cred. Awesome. That actually speeds it up quite a bit. Even though it's, like, so fucking late now and I should have had it done by this point. But, you know, when you're an idiot and you sell your weapon fragments... Yeah, you just can't get it done. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Blah, blah, blah. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Just get my damn lasers ready, Dr. Vallon. Oh, did my new soldiers get here? Yeah, they did. I think, yeah. Wow, that almost sounds like a porn star name, doesn't it? Brittany Andrews? Totally. Ooh. Definitely liking this Russian chick. That dude's below average. Bleh. But you never know. Even the below average ones, with both of the random soldier stats on, even the ones that start below average can be, like, really awesome. Oh, goody. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. That cutscene rules. I love those bugs. Well, actually, I don't. 
chrysalids are annoying, but... Yes, Alien Terror, we have to go there, or we lose... Ooh, we'll lose the UK if we don't go there, so we have to go there. Uh-huh. But since we're going on an Alien Terror mission, let's make sure I have everybody I want to take. Mm -hmm. I want to take her. Oh, yeah, med kit. Med kit's good. I'm going to... Do I want another heavy? I've got two heavies, though. I don't need two heavies. But yeah, one thing I've kind of noticed, too, as I've been playing this, is that... Um, Slingshot seems to be triggering a lot later, as far as, you know, the Slingshot DLC. An enemy unknown, that would happen, like, in the first or even early second month. So, you know, this will be the first time that we see the bugs. But with Slingshot active, you see them, like, immediately. Well, there's just the one. And, yeah. So, I mean, this being the first time we see them near the end of the second month, well, actually, it's, like, mid of the second month. It's, yeah, a little bit different. Being that we're going on terror mission, they get black armor. I might actually, yeah, change their decoration a little bit, too, to match their class, but they get black armor for terror mission. <laughs> but only those that go on a terror mission get black armor. So if they don't, if, so they have somebody that never does, then they get the default skin or something. Because, you know, that's, like, black armor, that's, those are my spec ops people. So they get the black. I think I might leave her in that. Yeah. Although I'm not really digging the yellow with the black. I suppose that'll change when I get better armor types, but, you know. At this point, I'm thinking, do I want two heavies? Do I want two heavies? No. How about that? No, I don't want two heavies. Uh, I guess I'm taking two supports then. But we're gonna make another med kit first because they both should have one. In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. Yeah, I know, Shen. Can be no different. <laughs> Sorry, Shen. I gotta go to your. I gotta go to the UK. Um, yeah. Now you can have black armor. Well, after I give you a med kit. Let's see. Do I want to keep the support in the standard armor, or do I want to change it? I'll leave it on one. Oh, that purple is kind of cool. I gotta say. And actually, another med card. We'll get your black armor, too. Yeah, I always go past it. I know it's it's 15, stupid. <laughs> All right, let's go stop some terrorists. Touching down. Very good. The next ah, deployment God site is in the it. UK. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Yes, Bradford, we get it. At least give me an awesome entrance. Oh. Yeah, come on, give me an awesome entrance at least. That'd be good. Yeah, I don't think we've seen that angle yet. Or maybe we have. 
Yeah, that's a cutscene from Enemy Unknown, but... I'm gonna wait for these guys to talk. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Because I have something to say about this one. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Thanks, Bradford. Alright, now this map is fucking garbage for terror ops. I just fucking hate it. For a lot of reasons. First of all, the cover is garbage. It's low cover all the way up to the SUVs, and those are destructible cover. And as the map progresses down the street, it goes up. So you're always going to be at a lower level than the aliens. They're going to have the height advantage on you. It just... This map just fucking sucks dick. I'm dead serious. It's one of the worst ones in the game. But that's okay. <coughs> we can advance slowly and not get killed, I hope. And that's just it. I'm going to have to move slowly, so I'm probably not going to save more than a handful of the people. If, you know, if I manage to save ten of them, I'll be impressed with myself. Because I have to move slow here. Heading to that location. Because the car... Yeah, yeah, I don't have to explain it anymore. You get it. It sucks. We all get it. Yeah, yeah. They're killing people. Whatever. Yeah, okay, the, uh, that's not even hardcover. The first hardcover is the fucking truck here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then that truck over there. It's just... Yeah, it, it's just garbage. And there's no way we're going to get to that truck without tri triggering contact. If we do, I'll be impressed. So let's put as many people around this car that blows up as possible. I think I'm going to leave Ryan on that corner. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave him. See, if I leave him on the right corner of that car, then he can make all the shots to the right side of the map where it opens up when you go up. But if I leave him on the left side, and then he's kind of, his shooting lane is more restricted. So I think I'm going to leave him where he is. I'm not sure yet. Oh yeah, floaters. Floaters and bugs. Uh, move up here, I'm probably going to trigger contact, but whatever. We have to move. Oh wow, holy shit. I honestly think that's the first time I've ever moved up to that truck and never triggered contact. Ever. So we'll put somebody else there, too. Moving. What the hell? Yeah, this is... See, see the middle? It's all just... It's garbage there. Eh, just... Eh. Okay. I'll just go there. And move, Ryan. I'm thinking about it, but... Eh, I don't know. Roger, Dodger. Yeah, I guess. Okay, what I want, what I'm gonna do, because it is actually not a bad idea, is put him on the corner of this red car. I'm gonna these the two back row ones. I'm gonna move. Yeah, up there is fine. Cause I want Ryan on that corner. See, here he should be able to see the whole map. Keyword, should. Yeah, those four, pff, yeah, whatever, just overwatch. You don't have sniper cover, so just stay. What's making that noise? Those are bugs. Bugs are loud. They make a lot of noise. Let's grab the rifle. But I'm not going to overwatch him yet because I still might trigger contact when I move. Let's go save this person. I'm on the move. Run for it. Get to the ship. Yay, we saved one person. <laughs> All right. I'm happy with myself. I, I at least saved a person. Yeah. Heading to that location. I'll have a firing lane if on the, from the back window of the car, too. You, sh you can shoot over that shoot over that right there that person will have a firing lane up above it doesn't look like it but you do uh, I don't want to move anybody else oh there they are hey shoot them 
Yeah, they are still alive, aren't they? Everybody missed. Awesome. Okay, okay. So we're kicking ass here. We got one asshole in Overwatch. That's nice. Now the aliens to your right. You're, you're pointing to the left again. Did she just say, God damn it? I think she did. <laughs> oh, well. Shit happens. Let's see if Ryan can kill the one in Overwatch. It's that one, one point in his weapon. That's your target. Nice. Okay, now we can move at least. Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll take that shot. Oh, good! Good, good. It was a bad shot, but I figured I'd take it. What the hell? If not, I could just move my assault up, shotgun it to the face, and still save the civvies. I'm on it, Commander. There's still one floater. I don't know where he went to, and that kind of disturbs me, so I'm going to move up to here. Not a good idea, mind you, because, like I said, I don't know where that other floater went to. Ah, oh, shit. But if I'm going to move forward with anybody, it's got to be the assault. Ah, eh, fuck it. There now. Move up to the garbage cover, save two people. Yay! Hey. Two more people saved. Awesome. Yeah, I don't like her cover, and I know there's a floater on the, on the loose yet. Hey, stop killing people, you assholes. I'm not liking the fact that I don't know where that other floater is. Because you know they're floaters, they can move around the map real easy. They got a shitload of movement, and it's so easy for them to set flanks up on you. Uh, it's up there somewhere, I think. Yeah. Do I move? I'm on the move? Yeah, I guess. Okay, nothing. Good. All right. Sniper needs to reload. Heavy needs to reload. Which I can do now, obviously, because I'm going to set up cover. I'm going to set up fucking Overwatch lanes to cover him, but, you know, the way they've been shooting on Overwatch, I don't think that's going to matter right now. <laughs> Yep, might as well cover. There, see now he's completely surrounded by Overwatch cover, so yeah. Yeah, I know that's a bug. I think I heard something. Those bugs sure make a lot of noise, don't they? Uh I'm gonna move up my support. Yeah, why not? Got three people on a destructible object. That's really smart thinking there. Roger that. Well, only two technically, but. Uh, I know I'm going to trip something if I move. Moving to position. Oh wow! Still nothing. This map is not very big. It it goes up to the right a little bit from where Aiko is positioned. So it's not a very big map. So that's why I'm thinking, what the fuck? Where are these other aliens? We're all hiding up in the dark spot or something. Oh, there's the bugs. Hey, why don't you, like, shoot them? That'd be good. Hey, nice! Uh, no, the aliens the other direction. That's okay, you can miss. Hey, be nice to that taxi. <laughs> Still in better shape than mine after getting that deer. Uh, good, good shot, good shot. Oh, there's some more floaters, perfect. Oh, you're going to take cover behind that little car, huh? Yeah. Let's see how well that works for you. 
Is there no? Is, uh, uh, is there any civvies up there? Ah, uh, yeah. Goodbye, dickheads. Nice fucking quad. I know it's a quad because I checked the civvy counter and not, it did not increase. So that was a fucking quad kill. Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, there were probably two packs of three floaters and the one that I lost track of probably joined that other pack of three. So that was definitely a quad. You are fucking dead. Yay. She got promoted again. I have no squad sight shot anymore, but whatever. There's still a bug behind that rolled car in the back. I'm just gonna see if it comes out. Or actually, it's a roll. Ah, it killed a civvy. Asshole, now I have to shoot a zombie. Damn it. <laughs> Thinking about falling back and reloading. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because I know there's at least gonna be. There's gonna be at least two aliens now. Because that bug just created another one. Ready to rock. Moving to Overwatch. That bug sounds pissed. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, yeah, that's okay. I didn't want you to hit it. Somebody else will, though. Good. Good kill. X-ray neutralized. There's the zombie. Bra Brains! We're gonna headshot it. Yep, 100% critical. He's gonna critical if he hits. That'll work. Yep, yep, yep. Now it's only got four health left, and it's the last alien, so who wants to kill the zombie? I'm assuming it's the last alien. Yeah, that was a heavy habit. Yeah. All mission objectives completed. Saved eight. Poor. Yeah, it's because this map sucks. <laughs> but um, out of all the, I think the heavy had five kills. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah, he did. He's getting promoted for sure. Actually, I think just about everybody's getting one off of this one. That should help UK panic at least. Yes, everyone. Awesome. With the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. Yeah, it was not a fun one, Shen. Okay. Both of these are useful, but I'm probably going to I'm probably going to take battle scanner because it has proven to be useful. And by the time I need disabling shot, I will most likely be running with two snipers and I'll have another one with it and as opposed to battle scanner. Disabling shot really only has like a few uses, but you can always throw a scanner and see where enemies are. Uh the f flush do not underestimate the awesomeness of flush. It is really, really cool for hitting at long range and just finishing a weakened enemy. But that's what mayhem is for, honestly, so I will take rapid fire every time. Unless I have, like, so many assaults, they're bleeding out my asshole, then I might take one with flush for shits and giggles. Uh, sprinter, yeah. Duh. Uh, field medic of... By a long shot. Smoke and mirrors, you know, that extra smoke grenade sure is helpful, but field medic is just way too good. Three med kit uses, yeah, every time. Council Medal of Honor, yeah, I wonder what that does. I guess we're gonna find out. Yes, we got bug corpses. Hardly any weapon fragments, though. That's, ah, yeah, you used a rocket, dumbass. You fucking got a quad. Remember, we will be watching. That's great, Bob. 
I'm so appreciative I'm sure of that. Troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Okay, shut up, Bradford. Yep, UK panic is down. Well, I got to work on North American. It looks like next. Indeed. Doctor yep. Volland's interrogation technique certainly is. Bradford, shut up. Efficient. He I likes to talk a lot. Blah 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 blah. Actually, the alien's worst nightmare is apparently a heavy with a rocket. Council Medal of Honor. Oh, that's nice. Aim and crit chance if off on your... Oh, that's nice, too. They're... Oh, damn. Those are both really good. I'm probably going to go with the aim and will, but... Oh, I... This, is, this aim and crit is... Oh, that's nice. Ah. <sighs> Shit. I, I think I'm going to go with this one because bonus will is just too damn good. And we're going to go ahead and award it to... I think I'm going to give it to my sniper. I wonder if it's retroactive too and it counts for the missions he's completed or it has to be based on missions leading up to... or after the medal is awarded. I don't know. I'm going to award it to him. This guy better never miss a shot again, goddammit. Well, it's only 10 aim bonus, so it's he's gonna miss, but still. Alright, let's have a look. Holy shit. His aim went from like 78 to 95. Yeah, he did get a promotion in there too, but still. Yeah, it is retroactive. It's He's proud, got a plus 8. I, I haven't had anybody killed yet. Yeah, exactly. So. Awesome. That dude is definitely badass now. Alrighty. And we'll be back.